Good evening, people. Watch MS65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. That's the gospel. That's how we're saved through his death, burial, and resurrection. That's how we're kept saved. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. For with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation, bless you. With the heart, man believes. I'm paraphrasing that, but you get the gist of it. How do you come to that? You come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior. It's only one, and that's Jesus Christ. When you put your faith and trust in Christ, when you accept him as Savior, you're saved. Period. You're saved. There's no other way. You're saved. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, accept him as Savior, you're saved. You can't do anything to earn your salvation. You can't list your sins one by one of everything you've done. He knows it. He sent his son to die on the cross for it. So you're saved because you believe. The moment you do that, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. He will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you cannot lose your salvation. He's your best friend. He will lead you, guide you, and he will change you. That's the gospel, period. I got to give you this. This is urgent. Toward global change. Now, I'm getting this off of war news 24-7, so you have to translate it into English when you get it. Um, Russia calls for military aid from China. U.S. openly threatens Beijing. So this has gone from a different level from this morning when I did a video. This is all the way up there now to a whole new level, a whole new escalation. Russia has demanded military assistance and financial support from China in its war against Ukraine. The news that is uh, making the rounds of the world in the last hours can have global impact. The Americans claim that Russian request was made before the start of military operations in Ukraine. If so, then the goal of the Russian leak is to clear the landscape. A European Union that will see China obviously choose a side will be squeezed very badly. So, so from what I'm hearing, from what I'm seeing on the news, uh, one of the spokespeople from Washington is supposed to go to Beijing, I guess, tomorrow to try to talk to them. I don't think it's going to do a darn bit of good. But, you know, because number one, no one respects this regime, this this White House. No one. And number two, you don't have someone to go over there and talk to them that has any ounce of sense. So it's a done deal. If China openly provides military or financial assistance to Russia, then the Western Front will be broken and the U.S. West European Union sanctions will be largely rendered useless. In this direction, the U.S. is now launching open threats against China. I told you a few months ago I was waiting for this to happen. The Washington Post reports that according to the U.S. officials, Russia has asked China for military equipment and assistance for the war in Ukraine. Oh, and let me stop right there, because in case you didn't know, the United States is demanding Israel to give up gas masks for Ukraine. They're demanding Israel to do this. Russia has also asked China for additional financial assistance to deal with the blows inflicted on its economy by sanctions imposed by the United States, European nations, and Asian nations. The Financial Times report that Russia has indeed requested military equipment from China.
The Russian request has been made since the beginning of the military invasion and concerns military equipment and other assistance. However, officials declined to specify what equipment Moscow is requesting from Beijing. Some estimates cite stockpiles of ammunition, mainly artillery and rockets. Now keep in mind, China is another big nuclear. They have another big nuclear arsenal. Another source said the United States was expected to alert allies to the new data as uh, there are indications that China may be preparing to help Russia. However, other officials say that there are indications of a lack of weapon system in Russian forces. The White House fears the move is a sign of growing ties between Beijing and Moscow, which it always has been. The White House declined to comment on the report, and at the same time, the Chinese embassy in the United States commented on the reports that the priority at the moment is to ensure that the tense situation does not escalate or get out of control. Says the current situation in Ukraine is really worrying, uh, Lu Ping Yu said, adding that the high priority is now to prevent the escalation of the tense situation or even get it out of control. Such a scenario is the cause for concern in the United States as it fears that Beijing could undermine Western efforts to support the Ukrainians defending their country. You see where this is going, right? To put this in layman's terms, the church is on its way out. The rapture is getting ready to happen because all hell is getting ready to break loose. According to the sources in the Financial Times, Sullivan will give a stern warning to high-ranking Beijing foreign policy officials that any Chinese attempts to help Russia will have consequences. Like what? Please tell me, like what? Beige, uh, before leaving Washington on Sunday, Sullivan warned China not to try to help Moscow bypass sanctions imposed by the United States and its allies on Vladimir Putin and his government. We will ensure that neither China nor anyone else is able to compensate Russia for their losses, Sullivan said. As for the media, I'm not going to publish it. I'm not going to publish it all publicly. But we will make it public in China, as we have already done and will continue to do so. Look, let me explain something. There is nothing the United States can do to China or for China that they don't already have. I mean, you're looking at two rogue nations here. You're looking at who hate the United States, and they're both nuclear powers. The United States is nuclear, too. But they don't respect the U.S. There is no respect there at all. I'm going to link this in the description box. This is extremely serious. Um, anything else comes up, I will be back later uh, to let you know about that. But this is pretty serious right now. So, um, like I said, it's off of war news, so you're going to have to translate it into English. And I'll be back later. Thank you.